so your words have no effect on me and I mean that's not the first comment that I've heard like that I grew up with the, those exact words <laughs> how I got this simple makeup look then just make sure to stay tuned and this isn't the outfit that I'm gonna wear either for the outing uh, this is just something that is really light because it gets really warm in here I like to have the heater on during winter time because I get very cold very quickly okay so I'm just gonna let that sink in for a bit and see look at the difference look at how amazing this eye looks and then how droopy and sad this eye looks <laughs> it's pretty impressive actually so that is I can't even believe how much look I mean seriously look at this like yes yes honey so it's really hard to have long eyelashes and then not be able to do anything with them because they are stubborn little sits okay but anyways anyways okay and i actually had my sister give me some new creams um during christmas and these were creams that she had in her bag and just didn't want because she's got a whole loads of creams so totally get that um but you wanna you wanna try something new every now and then you know okay especially me i love trying new products uh okay so we have that and then let's see so i'm gonna curl this one and i try to make sure that i get all of the eyelashes in there see okay there we go and then we have these ones yeah hold on i almost messed up and again this is just what i'm doing Oh my goodness. So I like to close my eye and then just have it rest on the lower end. Like so. See? I don't know if you can actually see that. Okay, so this little baby over here ended up eating one of my shirt strings. So the spaghetti straps, one of my strings was just completely gone. It was in the closet, so I know that she gets into the closet sometimes. 
So none of my clothes is safe right now. Just like one of my basics and stringless. So this is at risk. Literally everything in my closet is at risk of being eaten. I know my much, I know. She's out here like, stop talking about me, mom. Don't tell them my business. <laughs> oh dear. Ugh. The holidays also brought back a lot of issues that needed to be addressed. Oh, goodness. I can't even begin. But. Yes? What's wrong? She's so tired. Okay, so we got that, and then what I do, once again, is go back and curl the other eye, and then heat it up. So. If you think about it, this is a torture contraption. <laughs> Because if you hit it just right, you instantly start crying and feel the pain. <sighs> oh my gosh. Oh, okay. Which reminds me actually, when I was about, I want to say 17, I ended up cutting off my entire eyelashes. Like seriously. You need to make sure that your eyelash curler is not gonna cut your eyelashes because something had slipped and I think it was the gummy down here that slipped and it somehow it ended up just chopping all of them off just in one swift movement. So I was for weeks freaking without on one side of my eye and I just it still haunts me to this day and I make sure <laughs> that I never press as hard as I did on that fateful day it was just <sighs> let me tell you it was just scarring oh the mistakes I've made <laughs> oh lord ugh I can't even, I can't even tell you. <laughs> uh, I think when you're younger, you make a lot of, I would say beauty mistakes because of just how insecure you are. I know that's how it was for me. So I, I would have someone point out to me, oh, you have this much or you should be. You have this, like, in a mean or, you know, bully kind of way. And then I would just take it to heart and I'd try to do something about it. Like, oh, you're, you're so hairy. Oh, you've got bushy eyebrows. Or, oh my gosh, you have hair on your arm. So literally every single time I would try to do something about it. And I wish I would have just let it be. Just let nature take its course because that's that's stuff that you grow out of i mean hair it's a little <clears throat> that's a that's another route okay i am a hairy beast monster and i mean right now i don't really i didn't really shave so you can kind of see my arm hairs which is fine, you know, 
the person that you're with, if that's something that they really care about, then that's on them. It has nothing to do with you. But, um, I just think that we're too hard on each other and I think if you don't have anything nice to say, then don't, don't say it. Like, it's completely unnecessary. Speaking of... <sighs> so, I've been following the Nikocado Avocado and Stephanie Sue. Sue, y'all. That's how you say it. Not so. Sue. So, I've been watching all of that unfold and I think she's just she's freaking inspirational and just so great with how she is able to articulate everything that happened and just if you haven't watched her video oh my gosh I was literally bawling like <laughs> I'm getting choked up thinking about it now but it's it's hard because even as an adult you still experience bullying and it's just it feels like high school all over again Whew. um it's not a lot of things get to me i watch a lot of horror films i you know watch gore but if i see stephanie sue crying or another human being crying I'm just, it gets to me. <laughs> so basically what happened was she felt very scared and very manipulated by Nick Akato. And if you've ever felt like that, then you know that it's, it's very difficult because you don't want to upset that person because they might turn against you and say things that you you trusted them with at the time so i can totally relate to this because unfortunately i am all too trusting you come into my life and i will tell you everything my whole life <laughs> my life experiences and I'm just a very open person. I, I know that it's a little weird for my family for me to be that open. I give people the benefit of the doubt and I try to see the good in others. But I, I also have to realize that there's people like that that are going to take advantage of that and try to exploit it. So I've been trying to not be as much of an open book if that makes sense um just because of how heartbreaking this was because she was doing this collab with nick Okado, stephanie sue and he just he wanted to specifically talk about drama and if you know Stephanie Sue or you watch her channel, you see that she's all about true crime and, you know, that genre. And sometimes the C word, you know, that we're not allowed to say. But, I mean, conspiracies, y'all. I don't know if that was obvious or not. But conspiracies is what she talks about. So... I find her channel amazing. I seriously watch her religiously. And with Nick Okado, I would also watch him, but it wasn't as much. I only, I think I only watched the Veronica Wang drama that he, he did back in the day. But then, and I subscribed, but as soon as this came out, I, I don't want anything to do with that kind of person, so I chose to unsubscribe and I'm not going to be hating doing like the hate comments or anything like that. 
it's just you have a lot of growing up to do and hopefully like one day you realize that this this was not okay and you can't be using people for your own agenda because if you just want to talk about drama then that's all you are is drama and you're not gonna go far with that i don't think i think stephanie sue is a very positive person and it's hard to get away from that because it's contagious you know i what is it called so i what is it called um i guess i'm attracted to that kind of personality she's just very bubbly and very happy so that just it's fun to watch and i do definitely try to be a little more animated on here i know that in person i am a lot more animated with my friends and stuff but i'm still learning i'm still getting used to talking to myself and to the camera and to you guys <laughs> so bear with me guys okay so now that i have this pixie by petra and this is the brightening peach so i brightened my under eyes right here and then the next thing that i will do is where is it right here so this is just my very bare uh, minerals rescue complexion and this is the tinted hydrating gel cream and this honestly goes on like a dream because it's my own color hi hey, mom Ritz. what's wrong what's wrong baby you want some love So there we go. Ugh, but seriously, it absolutely wrecked my heart to just watch her entire video. And uh, I mean, it was during not Christmas time, but a, a few days before Christmas when she dropped her Why I Am Scared of Nick avocado avocado and to show those clips of her having an anxiety attack too oh I just I hit me in all the places all the feels and I obviously I had to send her drop a comment on her Instagram and just say we're here for you we love you and it was it's still ours it's just so hard to see someone so happy and so full of life and light be so sad and have that type of mental breakdown you know so i applaud her for just being so open about that um i know it's it's difficult and also i along with the searches that i made I ended up coming across a, I think it was a Reddit thread of, of her and it was just a bunch of people hating on her and I seriously don't understand. Like if you don't have something nice to say, there's no need to post, post it. I know that social media or the internet gives you a sense of, uh, Anna anonymous however you say it anonymity it, i think it, the word is but in reality people can see this stuff people can see and it's painful like seriously guys the one of my videos um uh, what is it titled i think it's called i was the other woman and of course it is clickbait i mean if you haven't watched that video then i'm sorry <laughs> um but it's 
clickbait if you actually stay like five minutes into the video you'll see that it was just this other girl saying that I was trying to take her man's and I mean for that video someone ended up writing you big slut and I mean I've learned to not take things in so negativity I've tried not to really acknowledge it or anything but with that comment I just said yep you're right like you don't know who I am so your words have no effect on me and I mean that's not the first comment that I've heard like that I grew up with the, those exact words people thinking that I was easy and this and that and I mean when I was younger yes I was absolutely boy crazy I will not lie but I never jaded any of those guys I didn't even start dating until I was 16 sorry mom <laughs> but <clears throat> I mean it's the truth you know people just have a lot of negative negativity and they want to hurt you and it's it's so not so not fair like there's a lot of people that are hurt why would you want them to feel less than that you know I think that's a really hard lesson that I've had to endure okay and so now that I've done very minimal makeup here if you can even call it that because it just went on like a dream um so we have that i'm gonna do the eyelashes one more time uno mas and then we're gonna go with that so and then we're gonna start doing our eyes for real Ugh. But seriously guys, be nice to each other, be kind, um, I don't think there's 